All right, something we really can't escape right now. It feels like the summer heat is on full blast, which can be nice if maybe you're heading to the pool, but not always so good for our furry friends. WCT's Raina Crooms joining us live right now from a dog park in Wilmington. Raina, how can people make sure their pets are not overheating this summer? Kim, one of the biggest things they can do is make sure their pet has access to cool water and shade. And if they are going to be outside, know the signs of heat stroke and know when it's time to reach out for help. S signs of heat stroke include heavy breathing and excessive panting. More advanced cases, you might see bleeding of the gums or skin bruises. Of course, remember to, to, not, to not leave your pets in hot cars. Keep walks and exercise time short, anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. A good general rule of thumb is if it is if too hot for you, it's too hot for your pets. I spoke to a veterinarian who says be vigilant, and if you think your pet is experience any signs of heat stroke, reach out as soon as possible. Heat stroke can be a really scary problem, and sometimes in, in many cases can actually be fatal without treatment. And so... We want the public to do whatever they can to make sure that their furry family members are well taken care of. And guys, this is Mia. It's not too hot outside right now, but something else you want to remember is the temperature of the ground that your dog is going to be walking on. Try to keep them in grass or, for example, I'm in mulch right now, so it's not too hot on their paws. In Wilmington, Raina Crooms, WECT News. All right, Raina, thanks very much. Take Mia for a little quick walk there. <laughs>